In Her Bag, brought to you by Crown Royal, is a platform dedicated to celebrating black women who are leading their industries. The world is just catching up to black women being the sauce, and we want to give these powerful women a space to tell their authentic and honest stories. An industry like the music industry that is traditionally male dominant is very difficult for women, let alone black women, to crack through and thrive in. My friend, music executive Miss Melita Rice, has done just that. My name is Cam, and this is In Her Bag. You're in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. You're in really the epicenter of music. So for you, like your introduction into management, like how was that experience for you? It was really hard. I think I didn't understand how to really be a manager until I would say 2017. Mm-hmm. Um, I know how to move people around. I knew how to get stuff done. But as far as the business and structure, I would really say like 2017, 2018. Okay. Because it takes a lot of highs and lows to really get to where you want to be. Mm-hmm. And what are some of those lows, if you don't mind? Me lows. Asking? Um, just being tested. Like now. You know, women in the industry is trendy, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> so yep. then it wasn't. Now you're saying like Atlanta is a music capital, but there were no labels in Atlanta, or no yep. label jobs, no. Yep. So now you have the QCs and mm-hmm. the Love Renaissance. You had to create your own mm-hmm. label in order to be heard. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And now in 2021, now it's a totally different ball game. Right. So that was a huge look. Cause like y'all can't see us. Like yeah. you see what we doing out here. Yeah. Like we're doing all this stuff. Y'all come. Y'all take our artists, our producers, whoever, and y'all take them to LA or New York. Mm-hmm. But yet we're still here, and the executive is just doing all the work. Yeah. Was there something that you kind of like set out to do, or that you did from the onset to kind of make yourself stand out or make your presence felt as a black woman in a very male-dominated not only space but also region? Mm-hmm. I just, I just try to be myself. I'm very <laughs> strong-minded. <laughs> um, I'm very transparent, so I yeah. think that's that works for me. Yeah. Um, so I kind of like blend in with the guys. Yeah. So I say, um, but for the most part, I only do things that I can make an impact with. I only move with strategy, and I don't stay in one place too long. Yeah. So mm-hmm. as you continue to advance in your career, you continue to level up you always bringing your people with you, specifically younger women. Mm-hmm. What does that mean to you to, not only the leadership piece, but you just being able to bring these young women along and teach them this game that necessarily you didn't get that teaching from an older woman as well. Right, as people period, we can't be afraid for somebody to, to surpass us. Yeah. I think that's the big issue. Like everyone's scared like, oh, if I put them on, then they're gonna you know, take me out of position. But I always look at Diddy and Andre Harrell. Mm-hmm. Andre hired Diddy. And then Diddy had to hire Andre. Yeah. So you never know when your time is up. You never know like where this leads you. So be that leader in somebody else's life because you may need them. Yeah. And I know I have um, Kaylin on my team. I um, mean, it took a while to trust her because your company is your baby. I know she can tell me like who's the hottest artist right now because I'm getting older. Yep. And I don't. I'm not on TikTok all day. <laughs> I don't have time. Or it's just like, oh, what you listening to? Or what is this? Or how do you feel about this? Because I'm not of that generation anymore. Mm-hmm. So you can't be afraid of to say, okay, I am getting older. Mm-hmm. I'm not old, but I'm getting older. Yes. Let me adjust. Yeah. And then you also talk to the, the people that are older than you. Yeah. So that way, like like J. Cole will say, like you're the middle child. Right. Like, okay, right. I get advice here and I can lift these people up here. Mm-hmm. You know? What type of resources and tools are important for you to give to them? I feel like a strong sense of self. I can't give it to you, but I can show you. Yeah. You know? Like knowing who you are, being determined. It's just hard because at the end of the day, I think some people get in this and feel entitled if it happens way too fast for them. So you still have to keep them in a like a safe space. Cause it's like, okay, if I let you loose, they won't attack you. Yeah. You know. And um, even now, like like I said, black women in the industry are trendy. I've heard plenty of people say, "Oh, I need a woman A and R." I need. I'm just like, what? Like, <laughs> what is this going on? Like, it, it just sounds like, okay, are we worthy, or are you trying to just say you're diverse? Yeah. Yeah. So now it's like all these years, now all of a sudden, like we appreciate it, yeah. but make sure that when you come to us, it's for a good reason, not to say, oh, I just hired a black woman. Woo, yeah. everybody clap for me. No, yeah. and that's the problem that I see now. What does it mean to you to be a black woman in a leadership role? I honestly think we're stronger than men. I agree. Um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, 
financially too. Because once we get it back, it's yeah. getting flipped a hundred times. Yeah. Like it's over with. We ain't yeah. going back. I, even just looking on Instagram, where they're like just seeing how many black women are starting their businesses, mm -hmm. and, and it's just like we're truly unstoppable. And I feel like once we get, I think that's what scares people though. Yeah, it's intimidating. Right, but they say that we're intimidating, but you're just intimidated, and that's your own problem. Mm -hmm. But it's just like, if you have us there and we're doing a good job, then why not just allow us to leave? Right. But I think it's just too much, because one, you gotta still take away the fact that, like, we're still women, and that's already a problem. Yes. And now you're black. The woman, I think, like, the black woman, it's always said, like, the black woman is the backbone. Mm -hmm. I just think that's a disservice, because not only is the black woman the backbone, she's the heart and soul, of our families, of our of our culture, of just our race in general. Mm -hmm. And I think that what you're seeing now is just an evolution of that. And it's showing through business. It's showing, you know, in what black women are doing in these kind of roles and leading and to the point where no one has to appoint you a leader. Yep. You're a leader by force. And you've always been a natural born leader. In your career journey, right, there's there's obviously things you know now uh -huh. that you didn't know when you first started with yeah. um, with management. You're going back to Melita in 2013, uh -huh. 2014. What would be the one key piece of advice you would give her? It's about balance yeah. and really proving to myself as well, like, okay, you can do this over here. Mm -hmm. And I feel like as an entrepreneur, sometimes we get a little closed minded because stuff is working for us. Yep. So yep. when you start working with other people, you're just like, oh, and you have to learn different ways and different terminology and you know different strategies on how to do things. And it takes you out of your element and your comfort zone, but it only makes you even stronger in the yeah. business. Yeah. So then you can go back and you can help other people elevate whether it's even, you can teach them your ways. Yep. So everybody wins at the end. Yep.